What's going on everybody? It's Steven from Southern Arboreals, the bearded one. So guess what? This weekend's video, uh, we're at my dad's again. We're at the reptile basement, or we like to call it the basement. And we got lots of crested geckos. My sister and my dad, they picked up a lot of crested geckos today. So we're going to show that stuff off. Uh... Would you guys like to? Would you guys like to? Would you guys like to say something to the camera? Oh hi! I didn't see you folks there today. Welcome to the basement. This is where uh, the family magic happens. Yep. This is where dreams come true. You know Steve Wrangler. I'm child of Wrangler, and here we're gonna take you on a tour of the magical world of Crestids. Hey there, I'm Child of Wrangler, Candace, here with Balls Deep Python's Geckotorium. Now we're kind of slow on inventory right now since we are just starting up, but let me show you some of our fine exhibition creatures today. Why here, if I can get her out, I have a splendid tangerine quad pinstripe. Why yes, that is a full grown <laughs> gecko there. Quite beautiful, chunky. Yes, eyes of death and terror, look at that. She's also laid uh, her first clutch for me. Two eggs so far. Going good. All right, child. Oh, what's that? You notice I have more? Well, gosh, I just noticed that too. In here, we have a runner that's not gonna come out. We have Myriad, a gorgeous Harlequin. Look at those colors, look at that fire. Yes. That is one awesome looking gecko. Yeah. That is a nice. You should see the balls on that gecko. Yes, it they did. They go have... balls deep. That's right. What's that? Candace, you've only got one male and one female? Why no? No, I do not. I found this beauty from somebody who's just looking to get rid of them. You know what? Let's look at this gorgeous buckskin named Venom. Ho oh, ho! Venom. It's your lucky day. Where did you get that one from? We bought it today. Oh. Why, yes. Oh, yeah, that's that female. Yes. That's, that's the one that's already laid a couple of clutches. She's already laid a couple of clutches right now. Somebody was like, oh, I don't want her. I'm like, oh, well, I'll take her. Great temperament. Beautiful skin. And we're just going to let her go back in there. Well, geez, what do you mean you only have three? Why, no. No, I don't. I have one more. What's this? Oh. You tell me what this is. This is a jumper. We might lose one in the middle of this. That's my tote and my vine. Actually, it's my tote. What is it? I said that's my vine that she needed. So you let her borrow it? I let her borrow it. Yeah, that's what family does. That's right. Do that for us again? That's what family does. Okay. And while our family's doing stuff, <laughs> let's look at Hawkeye. Get close in on that little baby. Oh, yeah, that's a nice bay right there. Yeah, look at bay. Oh, yeah, bay. Look at ink splots yeah, on bay. Girl. Oh, look at oh, bay. Oh, yeah, girl. There Ooh. she go like that. Woo! And just like that, that's how we lose uh, geckos of all deep. <laughs> what's that down below? Is that for future growth? Yes. Why, what's that? I already have totes lined up for this upcoming line? Of course I do. What's that? Is that something that has oh hatched in it? Oh my gosh. <gasps> What's that? We've already started expanding our inventory by starting our own lines of breeding. Of course we have. 
Here you will see by Pandora, my beautiful tangerine, that we have two eggs so far. First ones of the year. I have no eggs. I'm male heavy. Sometimes it is what it is. You're just a heavy you know? male. Haha. <laughs> What's that? Who's the father? Who could possibly be the father of these fine, fine arboreals? Let me tell you. I know. Is it in the one that says, I love crickets? Bottom left. Bottom left. Yeah. What's that? Alex is the dad? Well, see, I was supposed to move to Texas and let my father watch my geckos while I got acclimated. It turns out he took them. So, at least I've still got them right here in the basement of Wrangler. At Balls Deep, we strive to have the best looking geckos with the best set of balls. Those are some big balls. Oh man, look at that. Look at those balls. Oh, hold on. Ooh, hold on, let me focus on. Oh yeah, look at those. Yeah, look at that. That's sack. a male. That is That's a big That's a male. male. That one's definitely balls deep. <laughs> yeah, and he got balls deep in Pandora. So we can be expecting this line to grow in the future. Now, in case you're wondering, well, it's called Balls Deep Pythons. Why are you showing us geckos? Because the balls of those pythons have not quite dropped yet. They are not quite of. Oh, hands. Huggy says hello. And that's, uh, that's all for today with Child with Wrangler. Check in next week for new adventures. I thought maybe we'd take a tour of my fish. Because I have a new old 55 which I like to refer to as the tank of death because every other fish I've put in it has died. So now I put live bearers in my tank of death. The cool part is it's all mollies and platies and I do happen to have quite a variation. I've got gold ones, white ones, black ones, spotted ones. Um, I have a dead one in here somewhere. I can't find it. But somewhere in here See if you could zoom in on that baby in the back, Stephen. <laughs> I guess. Oh, right there. Look at that little platy. Yeah, I guess. so six, cute. Six babies swimming around, so that's kind of cool. So, um, that's Tank of Death 1. Uh, this is Skittish Tank. Here I have three remaining silver dollars that I haven't managed to kill off yet. But they're quite skittish. You'll notice when I come close, they like to swim as fast as they can into the sides but hey and I do have a little baby convict right down here that survived the last um, mass killing that we have just kidding and there's a couple mom convicts in there oh what's this oh this must be a tote I was an exoterra man until today when I picked up five yeah five geckos. I'll show you a couple of males that I bought. They're in a tote because they like being in a tote. What I'll say about this guy is when I picked him up he had some pretty good color. Um, I like the head structure and the fringe on him. So we'll see what happens. He may be a future breeder or he may be a pet. It all depends. I have a tendency to put my pets in my exoterras so I can watch them sleep all day long. And I go to bed at 8.30, and uh, they like to play at night. So, hey baby girl, you want to see this one? I haven't named these guys yet, but I love the color and the head structure on that one. Um, I'm not sure what morph it is. I'm sure Steven does. Um, but it's yellow, and when you see some of my other females, you'll understand why I got a yellow. Again, no names. I'll probably call them under desk one and under desk two. But uh, let's cruise over here and we'll take a look at uh, <coughs> some of the cool ones that we picked up today, as well as some of the other ones that we've had. Since our last video, uh, Will is still sleeping. Holly is still sleeping. They're doing well, picking up weight. We've been watching Holly's belly because they have got together before. 
it takes about nine months for babies to gestate, but look at that gut right there. So I might be in the chameleon business, I don't know. But if we take a look in here, I'm co-having two females. One of them is called uh, Reptar, the other one I don't have a name for yet. But, yeah, Soda Pop, that's the name of it. But uh, Reptar loves crickets, and I don't know where the other one is. Do you see it anywhere? That's the one I wanted to show because it was pretty. This is a female that I picked up today. I just happened to like the structure on it and the color on it. But she's the reason I got that other yellow one, that male, because I thought maybe when she gets bigger, they uh, they might hook up. And this right here is Reptar. And Reptar loves crickets. But I'm co-having again two females about the same size. They seem to be getting along pretty well. And there's certainly plenty of places for them to hang out. This is Gary the Scared Gecko. This is the one that Steven shot a video of. He got from Randy and then he gave it to me to take care of and I renamed it Randy but I decided to call it Gary again and I call him Gary the Scared Gecko. Gary lives in a stump in this hide. He's currently up here and I'll show you why he's called Gary the Scared Gecko. See. This is Gary. The Scared Gecko. He is very scared. Yeah. There you go, bud. Gary's not happy. So Gary might be a future trade. You know. This was today's find at the pet store. And I don't see him. This right here was today's find at Petco. She's a little jumpy, but it's a quad pinstripe that I picked up. I just think it's beautiful. I saw the pinstripe. It was almost full. I would consider it full all the way down. But Stephen pointed out it's a quad pinstripe because on the laterals, it's also got that striping. So this is definitely a cool pet. Very jumpy, so I'm going to go ahead and put this one back in the... Uh, 12 by 12 by 18 exoterra because I am an exoterra man There you go This is another find that we got today This one's a little jumpy, but it, if you take a look at the coloring on it, I just thought the coloring on it was pretty awesome What morph would you say that is Steve? Uh I would consider it a flame. Like a flame? Yeah, I think a flame. Yeah. I but like as it gets older it'll probably show more pattern. I like the co color on it. And like the other one, this one's jumpy, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it back into the Exoterra because I am an Exoterra man. Alright guys, so that was the video for today. Um we totally went over some reptiles and it was freaking awesome. So let me let these guys close out and say what's up to you guys. Remember, if you're not balls deep into it, you're not into it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and also remember my son's future and YouTube income relies on you going out there, spreading the word and saying, hey, Southern Arboreals is and are the one and only Gecko Video! NWO! I don't think so! Check out Balls Deep Pythons! Yeah, check out Ball. We gotta get you a YouTube channel, Candace. Called Ball, Balls Deep Pythons YouTube. We'll show you balls of animals. Yeah, we'll show you Python balls. Alright, peace!